Hello everybody, Ben Woodruff here, and in today's video I want to do something kind of spooky because tomorrow is Halloween, which is one of my favorite holidays of the year, so I decided to do a little video about bats, but I'm going to be talking about my favorite species of bat. Now, bats have been around for a very long time. We see them show up in the fossil record as far back as the Eocene, uh, which is pretty early on. So bats have been doing their thing for a long time. And they have diversified all over the world and into every kind of shape you can imagine, hunting a wide range of things. There are some that uh, pollinate flowers at night that specifically find cactus that are blooming and they bloom at night to attract specifically these, uh, you know, these uh, bats that, that pollinate them. There's insect eaters, there's, there's fish eaters, there's bird eaters, uh, like the spectral bat in South America hunts birds. It's wild. And there's fruit eaters. Uh, there's giant fruit bats that are enormous and have like a five or six foot wingspan. They're a very broad family and they're really cool. Now one of the neatest ones is the vampire bat. Now I have here a skull. This is just, not the actual size. Uh, scientists took the skull of a vampire bat, 3D scanned it, and then printed it larger so we can see. And you can see how these, these teeth just overlap and they're razor sharp. I love vampire bats. And vampire bats have actually very unique history that ties into Mesoamerican culture, as well as to co-evolving with giants such as giant ground sloths. But it's another video for another time. In this video, I want to talk about pallid bats. Now, pallid bats have a broad range, uh, barely making all the way up into Canada and covering most of Mexico and everywhere in between in the West. They're really pretty. They're pale, which is unusual. Most bats are usually kind of dark colored, but they have this pale fur all over them. They're really pretty. And they've got this adorable little kind of face. And they, they uh, live in a wide range. The interesting thing about these bats though, is that is what they hunt and how they hunt. You see, most bats spend all their time on the wing or hanging upside down. The strongest exception is the vampire bat. Vampire bats are incredibly powerful runners. Uh, because they get on the ground and they hop around and they'll go to the legs of animals who want to bite or hopping around on their backs like a cow, something like that. The second most powerful runner on the ground is the pallid bat because it tackles some very strange prey. It inhabits some of the harshest deserts in the Western uh, hemisphere. And what it does is it tackles some of the most dangerous prey. It likes to specialize in hunting scorpions. Scorpions of all different kinds, scorpions and tarantulas and venomous centipedes. Now, when they attack these things, they'll just land next to them and they'll start attacking it. They have a stronger jaw than most bats their size because most bats are eating insects. And so you're just having to crunch through the exoskeleton of a flying bug. It's not that hard to bite through the exoskeleton of a moth. Biting through the armor of a tarantula or of a scorpion, that's a lot harder. And these guys, they just tackle them. They just rah, go for them and just, and they get stung. Now, a lot of times you'll have things where an animal will basically be impervious to a venom. Uh, like honey badgers will eat cobras and they'll get bit by the cobras and they'll get sleepy and then they, you know, they'll wake back up and come out of it and be fine. It's not the case. These guys are just tough as nails. They'll just go in and attack a scorpion and the scorpions, burr, 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 getting them, and they're getting stung and getting hurt and they just don't care. This is just their way. They're scrappy, they're tough and they're adorable. So that is why the pallid bat is my favorite bat. I wanted to share it to you today because again, it inhabits a range where there's millions of people and most of those millions of people are not aware that the pallid bat even exists. So I wanted to share that with you today and I hope you all have a wonderful and happy Halloween. And always remember that life is a gift, so never stop learning and never stop exploring. We'll see you next time.